what's going on people fame entertainment here from the official wegamer.com if you missed my last video please go back and check it out don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always go in the comment section down below positive and negative feedback is always welcome so please let your voice be heard and if i don't don't say it enough i really appreciate you guys checking out my channel i appreciate you guys liking sharing subscribing that's always appreciated please keep it up guys we're gonna roll to 700 i can't thank you guys enough now i'm attempt to do this video without breaking any of the ndas that i am under so bear with me as, as i do this and i hope you guys enjoy the enjoy <laughs> hope you guys enjoy the black ops 3 gameplay that is in the background i can't wait for the game to come out it was like crack i couldn't get enough of it uh, i know people say this all the time but black ops is back call of duty is back and i cannot wait now to the point of this video now it has come out that halo 5 will not be in native 1080p that will be using uh, a dynamic resolution which basically means it's going to be 1080p and then when things get heavy and strenuous it's going to go down to 900p and then when there's not so much crap going on the screen it goes back up to 1080p now this is not the first time that the xbox team has done this i believe witcher 3 did it and also call of duty advanced warfare was also using a, dy a dynamic resolution now the reason uh, said that this is happening is because they wanted a 60 frames per second and to me 60 frames per second is the holy grail when it comes to console gaming if you give me 60 frames per second i can overlook and bypass just about anything else and to be honest with you guys what would you rather want this game to be 1080p 30 frames per second or dynamic or dynamic 1080p at 60 frames per second in other words i could give a shit less that this game has a dynamic resolution because from what i've experienced once again i'm trying trying not to you know this, this whole nda thing is pretty weird but just take my word when i say you guys won't give a shit either you guys are going to enjoy this game to the fullest because it is an absolutely fun game to play and i can't wait for everyone everyone to get their hands on this game because it will be the highest selling exclusive game for 2015. now i think this whole fanboy thing and the way the the media tries to push the, the console war is the reason why people care so much about the resolution of this game or the resolution of any game you know i think people forget all the time all the fucking time forget about the fun factor of games you know, if you're enjoying the game, if you're having a great time with the game, if the game looks great, because we all know resolution does not equal graphics, it makes things a lot, you know, it makes things sharper, makes things a little bit more clear, but resolution does not equal graphics. And if you think I'm lying, you, you people said that Rise, Son of Rome, and The Order 1886 were two of the best looking games this gen, and neither one of those games were 1080p. Resolution does not equal graphics. So if the game looks great, and if you're enjoying the game, you're having fun, you know, it has, you know, you're party up with friends, you're having a good time, people are talking about it, ranting and raving, and it's just an overall great experience. Who gives a shit about this 900p, 1080p bullshit? People completely and utterly forget about the fun factor, and that's what this game has. I know some of you got to play, or I'm hoping all of you got to play it. During Christmas time, we had the three-week beta. I mean, things have gotten better since then. I mean, I can't wait for you guys. Like I said, I'm doing my best not to break any of the NDAs. I, mean, I know there are a lot of people who have had, they have videos up. Uh, they're talking a lot about the game. You know, they don't respect the NDAs. If they're even under NDA, I know for a fact that I'm under NDA. I'm not sure, you know, how theirs, other people's work. I'm going to speak for myself, but I have uh, the utmost respect for the NDA that I signed, you know, when it comes to this game. Like I said, I don't give a damn about, you know, the resolution, you know, as long as it's not a 480p, you know, really 720p, because I, I hate bringing up this argument. People say it a lot. You'll know the difference between 900 and 1080p. You know, some people say they can. Some people, most people say that you can't, you know, I don't, I don't care less. You know, for me, for me personally, in my experience, you know, 900p is my limit. You know, 720p, I, it just feels like, you know, we're going back into the 360 days and like i said resolution is not equal graphics but it's still something my personal preference i'm okay with 900 i'm okay with this with this dynamic scaling because like i said the holy grail for console gaming is 60 frames per second that buttery smooth gameplay and for, with this being a first person shooter 
and this being Microsoft's biggest franchise, it needs to be buttery smooth. They don't need to be dropping frames, dropping down, you know, to 40, 30 frames, or 30 frames per second, dropping down to 20, 18 frames per second. That would just destroy the game. It would ruin the gaming experience, and it would lose the fun factor because you're constantly skipping pages. You're skipping along the map. You're skipping along the game, and it's just not fun. 60 frames per second, especially if it is a locked 60 frames per second is the most important thing about Halo 5. It is absolutely the most important thing. I, I, don't, I don't care about the dynamic resolution. And I think it's even great they're even doing it. I know, you know, if it wasn't for how the media pushes the console war and how your fanboy pushed the console war, they would just put it at 900p 60 frames per second and left it at that. But them doing this dynamic resolution is what is a way for them to kind of appease the people who care so much about resolution, not the fact the game looks great, the game feels great, and there's a first person shooter that is in 60 frames per second, and it's one of the biggest franchises on, on the Microsoft side and the Xbox team, the Xbox has ever had. You know, it's Halo is the game that, you know, revolutionized multiplayer. It's the game that, you know, pretty much saved the Xbox. I don't think there is an Xbox without Halo. You know, I know I know 343 is out, is doing it now and not Bungie and people, you know, are not really feeling it as much as they used to, but you will feel this game. You will like this game and if you're a Halo fan, you will love this game you, and you're going to play this game a lot, especially with there being free DLC. Free DLC, what uh, what who else is doing that? I mean, there's a few, but not as far as big titles giving you the giving you free maps. I mean, that's absolutely crazy. So I hope you guys don't get caught up on this, you know, 1080p dynamic resolution shit. Just remember that it's all about the fun, the fun factor of gaming. This is Fame Entertainment from the official WeGameRate.com. And please don't forget to subscribe. And I'm out. Bitch, I'm never gonna change. Bitch, I'm never gonna change.